Hi everyone, so welcome back. So today I'll be making a cucumber, apple, key lime, ginger, and pineapple juice. So the pineapple is already off to the side. I washed it off camera because I didn't want to seem weird for washing a pineapple, but I did because you know, it was, it was all over the place, like in the cart and everything on the conveyor and all that. So I was like, nah. And I washed it off camera. And then I have some lemons and pomegranates on the side here. And I'm just gonna prep those and put them away. That way I can have those as like fruit snacks, fruit snacks. So here's where I was washing all of my fruits and vegetables. And I used the Trader Joe's fruit wash and I will put what that is in the box below. And so here's where I just washed it all, scrubbed it with my brush and gave it a rinse and then dumped out the water. And then we moved on to chopping, well, juicing the key limes and lemons. So I really emphasize the importance of key limes and how helpful they are to your immune system as well as providing antioxidants to your body. And I really enjoy having key limes in water and just different things and I also squeeze it over other fruits that I eat and it's pretty good like it has a sour kind of taste not a sour taste but you know a good taste and here's where I use my juice my citrus juicer and I will link that in the not link it but I'll put the description of it into the box below as well so this juicer this citrus juicer is pretty good about getting out all of the insides of the lemons and limes and without wasting stuff, wasting juice and everything. So it's pretty good. And it separates the seeds and pulp. You could choose how much you want in your juice. So I always do it maybe on, it has the levels, I think one to four. And I always do maybe two or three, some pulp. And yeah, also my bad for being rude. My name is Kaylin. I know some people probably, how do you pronounce your name? And that's how you pronounce it. So, welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. And also, if you ever have any questions, just put them in the comment box. Like, I'm, I'm all for answering questions. And I will answer some questions within this video. Like, someone asked me, do I prefer Whole Foods over Whole Foods or Farmer's Markets? And I do like Farmer's Markets and I also like Whole Foods, but I don't regularly go to Whole Foods just because I live in Texas. So, you know, we have H-E-B and H-E-B is like the superior grocery store out here. Like you could get your fruits, your vegetables, your fresh wild caught seafood. Well, I'm pescatarian, so you know, I eat wild caught seafood when I do eat seafood. And you could even get your personal items, home items, everything. So it's like, why wouldn't I go there? So, and I'm just an H-E-B, I'm a loyal H-E-B shopper. So what I do with the lemons and limes, I'm just squeezing them. I squeeze the limes out. And I went ahead and get, I got it and put it into a ice cube tray. So the ice cube tray will go into the freezer and I will put it in whatever I want. Like I could put it in if I want a smoothie, but I wouldn't put limes in lemons and smoothies. But if I wanted to, I could. And I could put it in water, which that's what I mostly do. I like to have, you know, additives into my water. It's pretty good and easy to do. Like you could also make your drink cool. So that's where I did that. And most of it was lemon. And then I filled up those last five trays with the key lime juice. And I kept the rest of it for my juice that I'm making. So yeah, so I know you see a lot of dishes in the back and in between clips I was washing dishes because I was not about to let that pile up, you know, clean as you go as an adult Um, here is where I start chopping the pineapple. So what I did for the pineapple I tried to waste the least amount of pineapple skin like I just wanted to cut the skin and I only used half the pineapple in my juice and I didn't really waste a lot of that. I just only got rid of the core and the skin in the top and one time me and my brother tried to grow the pineapple top and it wouldn't grow so we just was like let's let it go so we did that so here's why i put half in a glass container and i prefer to use glass containers because i don't know i feel like it optimizes the freshness of things so i always put my fruits in glass containers i always put my 
uh, meals that I cook in glass containers. So yeah, I just feel like it works for me and I've been doing it for years, so I'll keep doing it. So here's where I chop up the pomegranate. So last December, so like December, 2023, was the first time I ever tried a pomegranate. And I was like, okay, this is good. And I don't know why I never gravitated towards them, but they're good. And they were like really heavily in season. So that's why I was like, I'm gonna just try it. So here's where I start peeling the pomegranate. And pomegranates take forever. So it took me a long time to peel both of those. And I just put it into my smaller glass containers. And it's very time consuming to peel them, but they're good. And I really thought about making like a pomegranate juice. And I'm sure that's pretty good. I might do that actually. So that's where I peeled the pomegranates. And it just takes forever. And that's where it gives you a lot. And in the grocery stores, they have pomegranates that are already peeled. But, you know, if it's already peeled, you're paying an extra convenience for that. So I like to do things myself. Like whenever I'm at the store, I always buy chopped. I mean, I always buy whole vegetables and I chop them myself just because I can do that myself. Uh, and then I just kept going with that. And another thing, another question I got was what do I see with my channel? So like, where do I see my channel going? And for now, I just like to be helpful and provide tips because tips and recipes, just because a lot of people are getting into juicing and I just got, I mean, I didn't just get into juicing, but I've been juicing for two years now. I've had this juicer for two years and it's lasted as long as I've been juicing. So it's a good quality. And here's why I just peel it, peel my cucumber because I did not ask if the cucumbers were grown without, you know, the different additives they grow in these fields. But I'm sure it was fresh. I just forgot to ask. I didn't want to risk anything. And here's why I use my apple slicer. So my apple slicer, it really does a good job at just getting out what you don't need, which is the core and it keeps everything else. So, and on the core, it takes, it makes it a little skinny piece. So you're still not losing anything. So I enjoy that. And then I have four apples. So that was four apples I sliced up. So usually when I juice, I like to, I know it's two fruits, which are the pineapples and the apples, but I like to keep it I don't like full on fruit only juices because that's just a lot of sugar. And here's why I used the peeler to peel off the ginger skin because that was not organic. So I made the mistake of not turning on my camera whenever I was filming the first juicer moment. And I only put it in a pineapple so I didn't really miss anything. But my camera like turned off and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even turn it on. So that's where I just turned it on and started juicing. So here with this juice, you could pretty much any way it goes, you could put it in however you want. I started with the pineapples, then I went to the cucumbers, I went to the apples, ginger, and there, so on, so on. And it, pretty, it came out good. This juice, so I had people that didn't even, that, you know, are scared, not scared of green juices but mostly like are like uh, I'm not drinking the green juice and they were like okay this is a really good juice so I recommend this as a beginner friendly juice as well and it doesn't give you that oh my gosh this is just straight up greens which I can whip up a recipe with just the straight up greens and it'd be good as well but my next video will involve a different color so be ready for that and then I started going back and forth with getting the fizz out. And because I use pineapples, it was very hard to get out all of the fizz. So I just gave up after the third or fourth pool. And I added in the key lime juice and then I started bottling, bottling at the source of coming out of the juicer. And then I added it in the last bottle and then I made myself some with some ice and it was really good. So yeah, thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.